Okay, we're in the San Pedro market, which is a traditional market in Cusco. They sell fruit, they sell fruit juices, they sell chicken, they sell meat, they sell musical instruments, they sell clothes, they sell all sorts of things. Seaweed, souvenirs, etc. So, back in Cusco because starting a documentary tomorrow about the megalithic sites in Cusco and surrounding area. We're going to be going to uh, Machu Picchu. We're going to be going to Oyante Tambo. We're going to be exploring the megalithic sites around Cusco itself. Uh, we're going to look at elongated skulls. All sorts of things. It's a American company flying down right now to Lima. They show up in Cusco tomorrow. Here we have a nice Inca style high quality wall. It's a Sunday so traffic is quite light. We're going to cross over and have a look. So, a very fine example of Inca wall construction. This is the original Inca foundation, on top of which is built Spanish colonial stuff. So this is pretty close to the ancient core of Cusco. You can see quite tight fitting work. This is high quality Inca. It's not megalithic. We're going to see some megalithic in about five minutes as we walk through the streets. Some of these stones may have been recycled from an Inca structure. This is an Inca wall. And again, another long section of very fine Inca wall construction. You notice there's a slight angle. This is typical of Inca and also megalithic constructions because it's a retaining wall, it leans in on itself. That gives it much better strength than if it was vertical. And once again, a Spanish colonial construction on top of, uh, on top of an Inca wall. And good point, someone just pointed out that uh, the corners are rounded, that's very true. That's what we find in megalithic constructions. So the direction here is pointing to the Kuntisuyu. So this is one of the major Inca roads. The Kuntisuyu road originally went all the way to the Pacific Ocean basically at Paracas and Pisco in the Nazca area. And then this way is called the Antisuyu, and that's the direction into the jungle, the Amazon jungle. Again, very nice Inca wall construction. Got here a day early, so as to be able to um, get used to the altitude because we're at about 11,000 feet above sea level. I left the Pisco Airport, which is on the coast, which is exactly at sea level. So that's going from sea level to 11,000 feet in 45 minutes. So it takes the body 
Takes the body a bit of time to get used to that. So in this direction is the Plaza de Armas, which was the traditional center of ancient Cusco and also colonial Cusco. And again, more, more of the Inca wall. This is colonial Spanish. So we're going to go see, go through the gate and then we're going to see a small section of megalithic construction. Cross the street without getting run over. Whoa. Okay. The ancient core of Cusco. And this is a section of megalithic wall. So as compared to what we were looking at, much, much larger blocks. And still pretty tight fitting. In this case, and very tight fitting here too. No, gracias. Tengo bastante gracias. So, <clears throat> Brian Forster coming to you from Cusco, Peru for HiddenIncaTours.com. I'm going to start filming tomorrow for my YouTube channel when I have time, time in between takes for the documentary. So all the best from Cusco, Peru.